Hey, Moose. Come here, say hi to the camera. Drippy. Come here, say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. Good boy. Good boy. Droopy. Are you good boy? What are you doing over there? Huh? Trying to find something to eat? Hmm? Huh? You are? How about you, Moose? Are you trying to find something to eat? Hello everyone, this is one Vista user two here. Today I'm actually using my old handy can that has been used in seven or eight years. Doing some vigorous tests. See if it still works. And of course it's recording right now as you can see. So let's go ahead and check see what happens. Turn a night check. See what it looks like. <laughs> Alright, turning on my computer. I don't know if the computer is taking up or what. There we go. Alright. Time to lock in. Alright, so this is the computer that I have. It is running on a Pentium 4 based motherboard right now. Upgraded from a Pentium 3. This was my grandpa's computer. A little later on. This was my grandpa's computer. And he gave it to me uh, almost a year ago. And this computer only had the CD drive and a CD re rewritable, excuse me, CD burner. And a 4 gigabyte Seagate hard drive. I removed the hard drive because apparently that thing was starting to have bad sectors on it. And I ran the computer using a regular serial ATA hard drive, actually a slim hard drive, the laptop version, and the serial ATA card, which surprisingly works like a charm, can boot off it from either CD or a hard drive, depending upon where the hard drive and the CD drives are connected to. Right now, look at the Serial ATA hard drive and the Serial ATA DVD burner, which is right here, are on the on the onboard motherboard, the ma motherboard's Serial ATA connections, and I had to make a special version of Microsoft Windows XP Home Edition with the driver, so that way when I put the CD inside the drive, it'll recognize the hard drive right away. Because before I tried running Windows up, Windows uh, XP Professional on this computer, when I hit it on the Serial HD card, and of course it wouldn't boot because the drivers were on it were not installed. And when I tried to activate Windows XP Pro, it said according to our records the CD key has been used. So I decided what the heck I was make a copy of Microsoft Windows XP Home Edition. I use a CD key that's on top of this computer case, that's on top of this computer, the COA key, which is the OEM key, and use it on the operating system to see what happens. Of course, right now the plate works. Let's go ahead and take a picture of the screen. Come on, focus. Sometimes this focus is just a little finicky. There we go. I don't know if you can see the screen or not. This is what it looks like. I actually had installed a couple of updates on here. This is Windows XP Home Edition right now. And I'm using the Point of Sales Ready 2009 Registry Edition. Well, actually, I added the, re the uh, system registry to it via the 
right after I booted into safe mode because I had to disable the onboard graphics because whenever I tried to boot the system, it would show a black screen. And I knew that the operating system was loading. Was loaded, but unfortunately, I didn't have the um, uh, VGA cable hooked up to the onboard video, which is silicone integrated systems. And that's what the chipset is on this type of motherboard. It is actually a PC chips motherboard, an M871G. Got it for a really good bargain for 25 bucks off of eBay. Which has an AMD Athlon 64 3000 plus, a gig of RAM. Plan to upgrade it to 2 gigabytes soon and possibly upgrade this thing to Windows 7 Professional. As soon as I install Windows XP Pro 64 bit version with Service Pack 1. On my brother's desktop sometime, or you just use the 107 Professional disk that I have right here and see what happens. Anyway, the other computer that I have in my collection is this laptop, which unfortunately the motherboard is suffering from a problem. When I turn the laptop on, it'll turn on, off, on, off, on, off, on. And of course the battery just depletes whenever I leave it inside things so when I leave it inside the laptop so I have to leave it plugged in all the time. But as you can clearly see it still boots. Can't see the screen very well. Let's set the camera down. Right over here so that we you guys can see it better. There we go. That's better. At least Windows 10 home excuse me, Windows 10 Professional Edition. On a solid state drive, I actually had to upgrade it from the hard drive to a solid state drive because I was running low on storage and the computer would take forever just to boot. And I'll show you my puppy dog. Droopy, come here. That's my puppy dog right there. That's a basic trigger, trigger walking coon hound mix. Which, of course, he is just running around the house like a madman. And my purebred pit bull is also on the video too. His name is Moose. Alright, so I'm going ahead and shut this thing off. Might as well take a picture of the system here. And as you can clearly see when you take a picture, it also puts the audio on there as well. 